welcome back to my channel and welcome to the floor you guys know me i love an outdoorsy activity i may not look like i like the outdoors but you guys saw me go hiking in canada <laughs> i'm kidding but i actually did grow up on a farm that's like you know a story for another day but anyhoozy today we are going to do a little bit of outdoor action because we're doing a patio makeover so you guys know I've been making over my house for literally two years. I've done my apartment tour. I finally did my bedroom tour. And today I'm finally going to do the balcony tour that I promised 100 billion years ago as well. It used to look like this, very, very crusty. And I tried to turn it into my own little Versailles outdoor palace garden thing. So I will show you all the little DIY uh, tips and tricks and how I made over my patio from start to finish. So hopefully you get some cool ideas and hopefully you love it. But uh, without further ado, here we go. A very extra DIY patio balcony Garden, I don't even know, whatever you want to call it. Makeover. Can you tell it's gonna be fire? It's gonna be fire. <laughs> Started. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the clip of what my patio looked like before Unfortunately, I lost the original clips because I filmed them like a hundred million years ago So these are the only ones that I have from my house tour right here. You can see it looked like this This was my room a hundred years ago, but you can see out there. That is my patio. So Unfortunately, like I said, these are the only clips of it, but you can see it's just got nothing at all The floor is brown. It's kind of crusty and uh, the wall is just ugly and basically the whole thing is just kind of crusty and crusty and it's just honestly not really that cute. So, here's what I did to it. Get ready, kids. Okay, so, how did I do this? Here we go. Well, the biggest thing to me was obviously the floors, which you can see now I actually made into marble by painting them. You can see it literally is actually just paint. These are not retiled or redone. This is the same brown floors with paint on them. And keeping the grout lines in there with a little bit of tricky shadowing, mixing a bunch of colors, you can literally create tiles just by painting. Obviously it's not perfect, like messed up some places, but overall you can see it looks fabulous. Tricky illusion. But on top of the floors, obviously I went ahead and bought this bench. This was not a DIY, I purchased this, but this is so cool. I literally saw this on the internet and was like, oh my God, I need to have this. It's literally called like a royal queen swan bench or something, and I fell in love with it. Like you can just glamorously lay on your stone swan bench. What a fun Saturday. <laughs> so now I have a swan table inside, a swan bench outside, because honestly you can never have too many swans. I love them. I literally named all of them Francisco. Okay. Anyways, above that, I went ahead and hung these angels surrounding that because this is actually off center, so that was like driving me nuts, so I thought that kind of balanced it a little. These are actually not stone. You can see they're plastic, which is super cool because it makes them look really expensive even though they're not. Hello, sir. It's rude to stare. So you can see over here, I went ahead and decorated this little flower pot. So I wanted to like have flowers billowing over the balcony, so this is what we did for this. So you can see I went ahead and bought this little white shelf rack thing on Amazon, put that there, then got a little white planter and literally just got a bunch of fake plants. I got some nice fake leaves here and just literally got some nice pink hydrangea thingamajiggers and shoved them in. Voila. Not rocket science. That's literally it. <laughs> street is so loud i'm sorry but so you can see that looks pretty nice there adds a little bit of flair i picked the pink to kind of match my bedroom which is a mess but you know it has some pink in there so that's kind of why i used that because from my bedroom you can clearly see the patio so i thought that kind of tied it together so over here okay so obviously yes i did purchase a literal fountain because i've been saying you guys saw me purchase that in one of my shopping vlogs last Christmas time. I love it. I'm obsessed with it. Look at how beautiful it is. Oh my God. It just like, ah. Uh. If I feel like really stressed out, I like to sit out here and listen to it because the sound of water I read soothes anxiety, which I don't know if it like really totally works, but it definitely works a little. So it's very nice and soothing to listen to that at night. I know obviously everyone can't have a giant fountain on their balcony, but even just like if you want to buy a little mini fountain for your bedroom, super cool, super cheap too. You can get them. I'll link some stuff below if you guys want to grab them, but uh. Unplug the fountain so it stops making so much noise, but sad. So for the pods behind this, okay, so these rose trees actually were not at all what they seem. So 
I actually really don't have a green thumb and I like kill plants a lot. So I decided after spending so much money on real plants, I just was gonna give up and buy fake plants. You know what they say, fake it till you make it, literally. But okay, so these were actually red rose bushes. You can see I got these on Amazon too, of course. But you can see them right here, they're red and they have faux fake red flowers on them, but I wanted to have them white. So I bought some white faux roses and literally just plunked the red ones off, boop, like that. And then literally plucked the white ones off their perspective stems. Well, I mean, this took me a second, but boop, there we go. And I literally just went ahead. You can see they have little holes in the bottoms of them. Stuck them onto the red rose plant. Genius. Oh my goodness. Wow, I can't believe I thought of this. So you can see after 500 billion hours of doing this, it literally took a million years. I finally had them all transformed into the white roses and it created a nice little aesthetic romantic mess on my balcony. But Anyways, point being. But what's really cool is even if you get up close, these flowers are real touch, so you would literally never know that these were not real plants. So cool. You even saw me do my little Home Depot run on Instagram. Another fun trick to make fake plants look real is to make them literally look real, like putting dirt in them. Look at that. Like you can see, I went ahead and put the plants in the pots and then I went ahead and bought this dirt, like I said, at Home Depot at like midnight. So hi, Georgie. <laughs> and I went ahead and literally just, uh, despite the fact that he was distracting me, poured that right into the pot. I made a mess, but I cleaned it up. And now it looks cool because it looks like they're real plants. Love that. And from far away, you would absolutely never know. I was very impressed with myself when I did this. So pat on the head. Good job, sis. Fun side note, so these pots, I have three of them. I have the one, I have the second one, and I have a third one over here. I'll show you that one more in a second. But did not come looking good. I ordered them on Amazon and they were supposed to be white, but for some reason they showed up literally green. So I had to get creative and spray paint them. So what is a really weird midnight activity aside of buying dirt is painting pots on your balconies. You can see, yeah, I like messed them up so many times, but eventually I ended up getting some sponges and some spray paint and a bunch of other random paint and literally just kind of making a mess until I figured out the right color combination. The cool thing about this is like you can't mess it up because it's supposed to look a little messed up anyway to give it that antique -y look. So after making my hands a mess, the pots a mess, everything a mess, eventually, hey, looks pretty groovy. Honestly, I think I did a pretty good job overall. I mean, it's not perfect by any stretch of the imagination, but definitely looks pretty real and stony. Post Malone stony, no, okay. Um, but yeah, you can see it matches the fountain pretty well and definitely matches the bench pretty well, and that was really what I was going for. So I think I did a pretty good job on that too. My room is such a mess in the background, I'm sorry. But yeah, you can see we just have that one little potted plant right here. For this, I literally went ahead and made this a plant too because obviously real roses kept dying. So I used those same little vines from earlier, kind of shoved them in the pot like this. Then I got some nice like fake stem roses and just kind of plopped them in until it kind of looked like a real plant. And that, yeah, again, like I said in earlier, not rocket science. Anyone can do it. When I'm standing inside, I can really see that one pretty clearly. So it actually looks pretty nice there. Kind of coordinates it, brings it all together. Another painted project, you can see this wall. I went ahead and painted that ivory. So you can see it looks more like a natural wall now because before it just looked really crusty and now it looks fabulous. I didn't put in some molding. This is like extremely hard, FYI, but it made it look a lot more professional and pretty and just kind of tied it all together and made it look nicer. Crown molding is an easy way to kind of spruce anything up. And by the way, I don't know if you guys remember, but I actually have two patios in my house. This is like my grand patio or whatever I call it, but I also have this balcony. The infamous balcony from my Instagram stories. I literally post this every day because um, it is beautiful. Like look at all the gorgeous things that I've seen. I have like a full highlight dedicated to it because I just think it's so beautiful. It takes my breath away every day. Oh my God, look at it, it's so pretty. But anyways, I won't bore you on here as well, but I also did the same thing with this. So out here kind of looked the same before, but again, you can see I went ahead, it's really dirty, but I did paint the floors here, super cute. I also went ahead and painted that wall. This was also the same ugly, like clear that it was over there. So went ahead and painted that and now it's nice. Uh, for the flowers, so for these flowers, you can see I went ahead and bought these little white vases here. And then I actually built in these shelves. Like you can see before there was nothing there. But what I did here is I bought those little brackets that you can see here. They're white. I actually did find white ones. Got those on Amazon. And then I also got these white shelves that are actually meant for indoor, which is why they look a little antique now. But that's kind of cool. It goes with the vibe. But you can see I literally just went ahead and drilled those on and threw those into the patio wall. I went ahead and got a square one up for the middle one because obviously I can't get a corner 
corner shelf for the middle. Then I went ahead and threw one, obviously, on the end, too, to create kind of like the little mini garden stands for those. This is actually a very similar project to what I did in my bedroom for my purse wall. You can see I bought these. These were actually brown, but I painted them gold. Then I bought little glass shelves, and I made those into shelves in my bedroom too, which I actually totally need to do again because my purse collection is growing at an alarming rate, and I really need more space. So I'll do that later, but oh my God, like, could you die? Look at this one I just got today. Amazing. Anyways, back to the plants. So that's that quick DIY, but I went ahead and literally, again, just threw in the flowers and the vines into the pot, fake plants, and made them look like a plant and the real plant because they're fake plants but oh my god look at that view oh this is why i have a whole highlight on instagram like i said it's worth it <laughs> i love fake flowers they can't die they look fabulous all year round and i don't have to water them love it so again you can see the before there and then the after oh a masterpiece i'm so afraid the audio on this whole video is gonna be bad because the road is so loud but hopefully it's fine um anyway it's bright so watching that was my little diy patio makeover i hope you loved it i hope you loved the little finished patio tour and if you have any ideas for what i can put up here i need something to put up there it just seems empty to me because i don't like to have any empty space everything needs to be filled but that's aside the point oh look how glam it looks back there so cute. oh well i need to clean that up anyways i'm rambling this is the end so thank you so much for watching don't forget of course to subscribe if you haven't already for lots more ridiculous thrilling diy content i will you guys next time i love you so 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 very much and uh that's the tea on that i love you so 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 very much even though i'm sure i said it already i love you since there's literally a jack hammer in the background and i can't talk anymore xo